first in two years. Huh? Yeah, well, we won tonight. That's the most important thing. We got one at a time, and uh, uh, I was proud. You know, we got a little bit of a slow start, and uh, uh, Tiffin was doing some things that are a little bit challenging for us, and once we started to get comfortable with what they're doing, I think our players started to uh, you know, make the things happen that needed to happen. So. The offense rolled. I mean, you had almost 500 yards of offense, and it seemed balanced, too. Yeah. You know, talk. Yeah, that's our offense continues to get a little better each week, and uh, it, it's a new system that these guys are are working right now, and and we're starting to get some of the bugs out of it. They're they're starting to understand the details. It's a really a detail orientated offense. Everybody has to be in an exact location, and we try to spread defenders out with that. And now they're starting to get the get the feel for that, and uh, and now that it's starting to become multiple. Uh, each phase of it's starting to click a little better, and it's really starting to come along. And, you know, so I'm, I'm proud of the way the guys are adapting to that. Jeff, what about your running game and the way you guys have been able to get that going? Skyler stuck with over 100 yards rushing, and your offensive line seems to be getting the job done. Yeah, you know, and and, and the, the nice thing about it is that's a young group of guys. You know, that's a young group of football players. Our offensive line, you know, there's a number of those guys in that position that are really this is their first year of getting a lot of football playing experience, and it's nice to see the way that they're coming along. I mean. You feel comfortable with being able to run and throw the football. I mean, we've given up very few sacks, you know, this season so far. And, uh, you know, Tiffin was bringing up a lot. And they had a couple different, a couple kind of challenging blitzes that uh, we were working on trying to pick up. But uh, then then it's it's critical to be able to run the ball. And, and once you can start getting people spread out a little bit more and, and things like that, then, and to be able to spread it around to different individuals really challenges the defense. On the top side, you guys have a huge game. It's looking like it's really starting to offense. How much is he playing in the success of your offense right now? Oh, Tom's doing a great job for us. You know, this is his third year. You know, and that's what you kind of go through, you know, with especially quarterbacks. Uh, and it takes a little time for them to really get in their comfort zone. Now, now Tom's in his third year of really playing in the program. And he's really grasped onto what we're doing within our offense, and, and just feels so much more comfortable than he has in the past. And you know, and, and you can really count on him to put the ball where it needs to be put. And that's just that's really big. I mean, what, what we really try to do in this offense is take what they give you. Don't don't get greedy. You know, there's there's times where you can try to go deep on people and stuff like that. But when you turn around and say I could I could dump it to this guy for five yards and he'll make another five. You know, our, our motto with our offense is get six, and that means uh, six yards, first of all. You know, we need six yards on every, on every play. And then after we get that six, then you're trying to get the other six, you know, and, and that's really what we're trying to get our guys focused in so we can we can move the ball consistently down the field. Don't, you don't always try to take the shots downfield. If it's there, you know, you take it, but let's just keep that thing moving. On defense, you know, I asked uh, Skyler and Chris, uh, Antoine Lumen, he makes big, it seems he's making a big play every week, so how much does he play? Oh yeah, he is. I mean, he, he's a legitimate speedster. I mean, he's one of the fastest guys, you know, I've ever had around here. I mean, that kid ran into four twos. You know, and uh, he's he's getting better. You know, and he's a pretty good technician right now, and he continues to get better as he goes. And you know, and uh, I, I'm really happy the way our secondary is playing right now because there's a lot of young players out there. You know, uh, Chad Wilson. You know, our uh, our veteran and our captain out of that group. Chad hasn't played in the last couple of games because of an injury, and we will be getting him back here in the near future. And, you know, you're looking at some couple young safeties, couple young corners, and. You know those guys continue to get better each week, and you know that's that's huge because I think uh, we got a lot of football left in front of us, and it's a matter of continue to get this team to keep, get better and better each week uh, as we come into some of our future challenges. Coach, I know you like to take it one game at a time, but confidence and morale. Yeah. I mean, last year you're one and ten. Yeah. This year you're starting out three and one. Yeah. On a three game winning streak. I mean, talk about the mentality of the game and where this team is mental-wise compared to last year's mental-wise when, you know, things started rolling bad instead of rolling good. Well, the same group of guys, for the most part, are out here right now that were there last year, and and, and, and we took it on the chin, and, and we took it like men, and we were, but we're pissed about it, you know, and we still have that. I mean, right at the finish of that football game, I mean, we, we're not smiling, laughing, you know, we're, we're there to win a football game, and we're there to finish, you know. We got a little chip on our shoulder, and, 
and we started off, you know, went through the off season with that on our shoulder because we have a very high expectation here. And when we went through we went, what we went through last year, that wasn't fun at all. And and now it's a matter of keeping our focus and, and, and using that. And as you start to get a little confidence and start to see things work for you and stuff like that, you know, it keeps building even more. And, you know, that, that mindset that you can get into is an awful powerful thing, you know. And if we can keep these guys healthy and, you know, and, and we're constantly challenging them because we're looking for perfection, you know. We're, just because we win a football game, while well, there's some stuff that we got to get cleaned up. You know, there's some things that we did today that we need to do a lot better or it's going to catch up to us. And, but it's a whole lot better having learning experiences when you have a W and 